Hey guys, Dirt Diver 222 here. Uh, it's been raining here in Western Maryland for who knows how long. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm getting kind of sick of it. Uh, so I thought I'd make a quick video to give you guys maybe a tip or trick that you weren't aware of. Uh, I recently picked up a uh, Martin's Jaguar Recurve takedown bow. And uh, I really like it because I can compact it and uh, you know keep it away from my son. Uh, Trey, you guys have seen him in other videos, and I want to make sure that he stays safe in the house. So, you know, that extra thing keeps my wife and me at ease. Uh, but one of the things I did when I got it, because I'm brand new to archery and I'm brand new to even hunting, uh, is the simple thing of where do I put my arrows? Yeah, there's quivers out there and things like that, but I thought, you know, I wanted to make something. I'd seen Dave Canterbury's video on the PVC quiver. thought it was really cool, real neat common man idea. Um, the only problem I had was it was in a tube and the arrows would just kind of rattle around somewhat. Um, I know you can probably put a piece of cloth down in there, but one of the things that I try to use when I go out is a traditional style blanket roll. Um, my dad gave me this military army blanket. I love it. It's always done great for me. Um, I don't always take it out on day hikes, but I'll take it out on day hikes if I go out in the winter because it gives me that extra bit of warmth where I'm not bringing a big giant jacket. I might bring just a few base layers and then something that I can wrap myself up in. Um, but I wanted to show you an idea for a quiver. No noise. If you have one of these and you have some carabiners and a cord, I mean, you can do this with any rope. I'm just using the strap from my day hack, day hack, sorry, my day hike pack. Um, which I've turned into a butt pack, uh, found that the military pistol belt, belt really added uh, a lot of less weight on my shoulders. It didn't pull on me because this is such a thin strap as it is. It needed something a little lighter. Normally I'd put a military space blanket in here or my tarp for a shelter if I was going out, but uh, this is just the blanket for right now. So let me go ahead and show you. I've got it folded up into thirds, kind of that traditional Hudson Bay blanket idea and you know fold it over and then you just kind of continue to roll make sure it stays all nice and easy and one of my favorite things is the fact that how easy this is in <laughs> the house as it usually is um, I always keep these particular paracord tie-offs for my tarps um, they've already got the uh, uh, top line hitch um, knots in them so they're adjustable and self-tensioning um, and afterwards here I'm going to show you guys another quick trick so I've rolled it up I tighten this down let me go ahead and get the other side here tighten down good okay not too too tight but we want to keep it good and and firm that it's not going to unroll and then usually what I do is I just take it and continue the wrap around and then just tuck it in because remember that taut line hitch is already locking it down I'm going to do the same thing on this side so and maybe I've got my tarp in here maybe I've got some other accoutrements so to speak take those this is where the carabiners come into play they'll attach themselves to this strap. It's not foolproof. I haven't been out in the woods with it as, uh, as a quiver, however. But this right here is that ever popular, you know, tump line style, carrying your blanket with you. Um, one of the reasons I like these straps because they're adjustable and I'm going to go ahead and do that and give it a little bit of an adjustment tighten it down one of the things I can't stand is packs that are real loose when you move they all they slop all around on you um, one of the things why I'm putting it this particular way is because then the, the adjustable strap will actually lock this sliding pad which will help reduce any stress and then here you go are you ready for this simple arrows one two and three now here's the thing if you feel it force then pick a different spot um, they can even go right next to each other 
And if you just wheel around, now these are just field points, guys. This is not for deer hunting um, with the razor edge or the, the broad heads or anything like that. This is going out self-reliance, maybe a, uh, a squirrel or a, um, or a rabbit or something small like that. Um, you can kill a deer with a, with a field tip. It's just going to be a lot more work. Um, just to kind of here, see if we can tighten this up just a little more. And then you guys can see on my back, I've got my quiver, I've got my arrows. I can just reach back, pull out, place, and release. And there you go. Cheap, inexpensive. Uh, if you're into bushcrafting, you know, let me turn around so you guys can see me. If you're into bushcrafting, if you're into any kind of uh, self-reliance things, you know, you probably have the military uh, wool blanket laying around. It's a, you know, it's, as the British would say, it's a great bit of kit. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces. I want to show you guys one more trick before I leave. I think this is one of those things that, you know, I really wish uh, somebody would have done a video on this if they've already thought of it. If they haven't, well then I guess I'm the first. Um, I don't mind being the first, I just, I love learning from you guys and that's kind of why I do this. You take your uh, bedroll, all rolled up just like this. Now one of the packs that I'll use um, is this Jansport pack. Uh, if I'm just going out for a day hike, usually during the winter time if I'm scouting out maybe some new area, um, looking at some things, I'll carry this Jansport pack mainly because with the butt pack, which has all my uh, accoutrements or what I need, this can hold maybe an extra sweatshirt, maybe it can hold some extra food, um, things that would sustain me if I was going on that overnighter. Now, it's not a tall bag at all. It's an old Jansport bag I had when I was a kid, but the problem with this is there's no bottom attachments. Now, I know what you're saying. Dirt Diver, you can just sew some straps on there. You're good to go. Get yourself a Maxpedition pack, yada, yada, yada. Um, I don't like tearing up machine-made stuff primarily because this can ruin it. And I don't want to ruin it. I want it to be good. I want it to last. I don't want anything to have to be re-sewn unless it's an emergency because it failed on me. So one of the things that I've done is I take these lines that keep this together, and I'll do this with a tarp. I'll do this with my uh, military half shelters. And I will clip these into place, like so. And usually I'll pull them inward um, or outward because they don't, they can't go anywhere. Now these are not these are cheap carabiners. These are not weight bearing carabiners. I have those type, um, but these are just easy for click and use. Um, and because of the weight that you're using, now if I loaded this as a blanket pack, then yeah, I'm going to put those climbing grade carabiners on there because these are not going to hold it. So I, again, I've just clipped these carabiners just right over the the already existing tensioning straps. The things that are keeping them wrapped up. And I take my pack, and this is, imagine if I'm wearing it, okay, and you take the carabiner, and you click it onto each strap. So now, it hangs down. And, you now have on your pack a bottom mounted uh, I can do this with a roll mat, I can do this with uh, my, my blanket, I can do this with a half shelter. It, it gives the extra room in the pack and believe it or not with the, with the butt pack I can turn it to the side. I can even bring it here. Or if it's lightened up a bit because of all the additional things that are in the backpack, if I'm using it as a scout bag, I'll just throw this on my shoulder then put the pack on and I'm good to go. Real simple trick. Um, I can even remove stuff while it's while the pack is on me. That's why I don't like the care the climbing grade ones, just because this has a nice easy slip off. But there you go. Take it, unroll it, use it, put it back. You're good to go. Once again, this is Dirt Diver Two 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 coming at you with another video, couple tips and tricks, if you will. Take care, guys. Be safe. See you on the trails.